One of the Palantir community's fan favorite, Mariana from Bank of America, has released her post-earnings report, as well as Deutsche Bank surprisingly raising their price target but telling investors to be cautious. So they noted an increase of their price target from $18 to $20 while still keeping their sell rating. They basically note that the valuation is the main issue for them for Palantir, but also the uncertainty around competitive positioning in their eyes and AIP actually being a viable long-term market grabbing product, which they need to confirm before changing their sell rating. And they do also note the competition, even if from other vendors, can still happen internally at organizations that I know a lot of us might not focus on sometimes, but it's a real thing to block new solutions from coming in considering how it'd make your internal teams look. So they just want to make sure investors are seeing the price target raise is not necessarily a complete sign off on being bullish since they want to be cautious to gathering more evidence on the long term case for Palantir. So they're basically on the sidelines. Now on to Bank of America with reiterating Palantir as a buy, still with a price target of $28. So they start out with the context around network effects and basically how much more and more users are getting onto a connected network. But in this case, they're referring to Palantir and believe she's seeing it at the early stages starting for them. And notes the major partnerships with big tech names, consulting and customer firms like Oracle, Amazon, Accenture, PwC, KPMG and Jacobs and more. So they still favor the partnership strategy, honestly, that Palantir has been doing, hence the buy reiteration on the rating as well as $28. $28. Now, when bringing up bootcamp, she notes how investors are basically cautiously optimistic on the success of the event still in converting these to actual signing customers and notes the growth of AIP bootcamps to 660 so far this year in 2024, which was actually also noted in the letter to shareholders from Alex Karp when you have a chance to read it. But on their presentation, of course, they drew attention to the total of 915 plus organizations that have attended AIP bootcamps all time. So Bank of America still sees this continue to scale up in the early early innings, but note the metrics showing the strategy seems to be working for them. Then, this is the opposite take though actually from RBC's Rishi on my previous video, noting headwinds for government business, while Mariana is saying there is more significant opportunities to come with the United States government when it comes to at least artificial intelligence and wrapping them up. They note the memo from the current administration under Biden that it's trying to get ahead on the AI adoption curve, as well as the breadth of leadership requirements to oversee AI use cases so Palantir can be a beneficiary in the eyes at least for Bank of America, continue to become a more and more commonplace here. And notes specific programs like FedStart and Mission Manager. Now, they also note the market reaction, which basically gave up all of yesterday's pre-earning gains. And then after hours, it was all lost. Essentially, they said that investors were looking for higher outlook raises, even though management did raise them. And Bank of America's thoughts on this is that Palantir is being more cautious with their approach concerning it's still the early part of the year here, so they don't want to go too aggressive. But notes, they do eventually want to reach that 25% year-over-year revenue growth rate. If you all remember, Q2 on the high end has an outlook of around 22.5%, so there's still a little gap here to close. Now, metric-wise, they point out these strong revenues, which I was also impressed with, hitting 21% year-over-year growth, but also on the margins. They point out on revenue and profit beat out because of the growth they're seeing in commercial and government, and of course, the customer count still following up. And when talking about full year 2024 revenue outlook, it actually turned out less than Bank of America's expectations, but still in the $2.683 billion range is still fine. And the margins, though, adjusting operating margins coming from above their expectations. So a mixed bag for them for the full year. So with this information, Bank of America is actually raising their earnings per share estimates based on the strong margins being projected. They're seeing that U.S. commercial sales will probably offset the international sales and being the main growth driver for the near term, which isn't a secret to anyone, which is where they landed in the $28 price target still based on the pros and cons, pointing out being balanced out just because of the USG modernization efforts that they hopefully project Palantir will benefit from as an AI leader. So that's Bank of America's thoughts on earnings. Do you agree? Let me know below and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.